Alright, so for this look today I'm going to be using all Makeup Geek shadows, which are my new favorites. They're amazing. From left to right, we have Shimma Shimma, Peach Smoothie, Mango Tango, Bitten, and Mocha. So, let's do it! So, I'm starting out by taking Peach Smoothie on this big fluffy brush from Sonia Kashuk. And Peach Smoothie is just, I've probably talked about this before somewhere, but it's just a really nice um, transition shade to put in your crease. It kind of helps the other colors blend together well kind of blending it upwards as well, like not just focusing on the crease, but also like kind of up to that like eye socket bone? Is that a thing? Why? So now with the flatter brush, I'm just going to take Shimma Shimma and I'm going to place this pretty much all over the lid before I put on the darker colors and going to bring it down to the inner corner and underneath a little bit. Now on kind of a more precise blending brush like this, it is the C139 Stiff Tapered Crease. And I think this is from Crown Brush. I think I got it at IMATS. Anyways, gonna dip this into some Mango Tango, which is that lighter kind of coral shade, and focus this more in the crease. And I'm not blending this up as high as I blended the Peach Smoothie. I'm just kind of focusing this in the crease and going back and forth. And I really like this brush because it's tapered a little bit, if you can see. So it makes it really easy to just kind of pop a color right in the crease. Like the little pointy part of the brush just fits really nice in there. It's also a really good brush for cut creases as well because you can hold it like that and it makes it a lot easier. I'm getting way off topic. Let me just, uh, let me just do my blending, y'all. Something that I think is helpful when I do a smoky eye like this is I take this uh, big blending brush that I use to put the crease shade in and I just, I don't put anything else on it. I just kind of take what was left over and just go over what I just did. And I like to do this kind of in between every step just so it blends a little more seamlessly. Okay, so now I'm going to take even a more precise little blending brush type thing. And this is also a crown brush. Can't remember the name. Sorry. And I'm going to take Bitten, which as you guys probably know, it's like my favorite makeup geek shadow. It's so pretty and it's perfect for fall. And make sure you top off the excess because... You don't want fallout with darker colors. And anyways, I'm just focusing this on the outer V of my eye, bringing it about halfway into the crease where we put Mango Tango, but not all the way into here. Just kind of focusing this on the outer half. I'm also kind of blending this upwards and just making it kind of a more elongated point out there. I'm also going to take a little bit and just bring it underneath the lower lash line. This brush is also really good for this because it's kind of um, tapered up the top as well, so it makes it easy to get underneath this area. I like to kind of layer Bitten on just to get more uh, color payoff out of it. It is pigmented on its own and like one layer would be fine, but I just like it to be a little extra bright. <laughs> Can you guys hear that truck out there? I have no idea what they're doing. It sounds like they're demolishing a building right outside my apartment, which is great timing for this, so. Sorry. I'm going to take this brush that we put the Mango Tango in the crease with, not putting anything on it, and I'm just kind of blending out the Bitten into the Mango Tango. So after all the blending, you're probably going to lose some of the color, so I'm just going to go back in with Bitten again and just kind of emphasize the areas that we put it in in the first place. I'm going to go back in with some Mango Tango on the same little brush, and I'm just going to Continue putting some color along my lower lash line. Just kind of pick up where Bitten left off and bring it in about almost all the way to the corner just to meet with the Shimma Shimma. And then if you want, if you're a go-getter, you can take another blending brush that's clean and just kind of blend out the lower lash line so it looks a little bit smoother. All right, so the last step with, actually, I don't know if it's the last step, don't let me get ahead of myself. I'm going to take Mocha, which is this kind of dark brown color, and I'm going to take it on that same brush and just place it really concentrated in the outer half. Like, not exactly on top of Bitten everywhere, but just in the outer half to kind of add some darkness over there. If you want to really make this extremely smoky, you can use black instead. Makeup Geek has a really good black eyeshadow called Corrupt, but I'm just going to use a brown because I don't want it to be too harsh. 
Okay, one last thing. I am going to be taking a tiny little detail brush like this. I think I got this in my electric palette. <coughs> what? Electric palette. What is happening to my voice? And I'm just going to take Shimma Shimma again, which is that highlight, and just dust it over the very inner corners. So now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to take some liquid liner, and this is... I forget the name. It's some crazy thing. L'Oreal Intense liquid liner. You guys know I can't talk and do this at the same time, so prepare for this 20 seconds of awkward silence. Okay, let's do it. So basically what I'm doing is just making a pretty thin line across my entire eye. And then I'm going to end up winging it out right here and bringing it up into the crease. So, just watch and learn, guys. Probably going to mess this up, but we'll see. So that's really all there is to it with a liner. I just think it's kind of a fun way to play up the winged liner thing. So now I'm just going to go in with a quick layer of mascara because I'm going to be wearing false lashes. And this is the CK1 mascara that I got from Ulta for my birthday month. And I actually really like it. It's been my favorite mascara that I've tried out within the last few months. I'm so sorry my voice is getting so raspy and gross. I haven't talked to anyone all morning, so my voice is not used to this. While I'm waiting for that lash glue to dry, I'm just going to powder my face and I like to wait until after I'm done with my eyes to do this because it's easier for me to clean out any fallout that I get from the eyeshadow before I put powder on my face. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take this banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and just set my under eye concealer with that. And I don't go ham with this stuff, I just apply a light layer because I don't like it to look super cakey. Basically I just put this wherever I think I need it, which is on my nose, under my eyes, and then on my laugh lines down here because those tend to crease like nobody's business. And I'm going to take Fawn from this and just contour my face with it. And I'm still waiting for that lash glue to dry so I'm going to pop on some blush real quick and this is my favorite blush to use for the fall time. It's called Warm Soul by MAC. You guys know that I love this. Just going to place it on my cheeks and blend it in with that contour that I just did. And these are just lashes that I got from Fred Meyer, I believe. They're called Kiss Lashes. And they're probably one of my favorites for like a natural lash type look. And I did cut these a little bit just to kind of make them a little bit easier to apply. So that's why they look a little bit shorter. I'm just going to let these babies dry a little bit before I put some more eyeliner on to cover up the glue. So let the drying commence. I'm also going to pop some mascara on my bottom lashes while this is drying. So I'm going to take that same mascara and then just lightly go over my bottom lashes. I'm glad you guys can't see my mouth right now because I'm doing the weirdest things. Alright, so I have re-gone over that lash line with my liquid liner that I used earlier. Alright, that's pretty much it for the eyes, so let's move on to the lips. I'm going to show you two options. One's going to be like a neuter type lip to go with the kind of darkness of the eyes, and then I'm going to do a dark red, so you guys can pick which one you like more. For the nude look, I'm going to start out with my lip liner by Jordana in Tawny. Who texted me? I'm going to be taking my NARS Dolce Vita lipstick, and this is just a really nice creamy lipstick that's a little bit nude, and just go over it like that. So honestly, this is something that I would wear more on a day-to-day -day basis, the kind of neuter lip with the darker eyes, but I'm feeling a little bit spicy today, so let's go in with MAC Dark Side, which looks like this, and see how that looks. Okay guys, so that is it for the look today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know which lip... I almost... Oh my god, I keep wanting to say nip. 
please don't let me know which nip you like more. If you like the dark lip more, let me know. Or do you like the nude lip more? I don't know. I can't decide. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you try this look out, please let me know on Instagram. That would be awesome. Post a picture and tag me in it because I would really love to see it. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you later. So I'm just going to place that all over the lip. The lip. Just gonna <laughs> so now, <clears throat> why can't I talk? Talk. <coughs> okay, where am I? Okay, can we just take a second to look at this monster that is in my room? What? Let me know what lip option you guys liked more. If you like the dark lips more or the lewd, <laughs> lewd nips. Lewd nip. That bug is gonna kill me. I swear to God. So, oh, what else do I say? I haven't done this in a while.